All right, welcome back to the channel and the build of our bat van. So I've got a couple of things I need to get done today. One, I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, cutout for our piping for our stove, and then we can get the stove in and put it in place. Won't run any piping just yet because I don't know exactly where everything's gonna go. And then next, we're gonna go ahead and install the sink, and I'll show you the little brackets that are used for that. And uh, we'll get that all sealed, locked in place, and then I've got a couple other little things I want to show you I think you're gonna gonna like and then we'll talk about maybe some future design changes already yeah so a couple of things I'd like to change but that'll be down the road a little bit all right so hang in there let's get going And just like that, we've got a hole right on. And from the outside, we are real close. That's perfect. All right, so now we can set the stove back in, make sure everything lines up, I'll clean that up a little bit, and uh, then we'll worry about the sink. All right, let's see if our hole lines up. Oh yeah, perfect. Puts us almost right in the center. Cool. Now we're ready for some gas. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull the cover off of this, go ahead and put some screws in here to hold things in place. Then we'll work on the stove. Alright, now that we got everything fastened in, let's hope that top still fits. <laughs> awesome. Okay, now we'll get this fastened back down and uh, be good to go. All right, so to install the sink, there are four brackets that look like this. And uh, there's a piece of hard rubber that fits in this groove that's got little teeth on it. And I don't know if you can see it. And you push that in as far as it'll go. And I mean, you really have to shove it in there. And then these just slide up inside of it. And these little fasteners will go into that plastic piece. So I'm going to install these on here, set it in here, see how much room I've got behind it, and then we'll pull it out and be able to seal around the edge, drop it back in, 
fasten things down and we will be done with that. All right, so for my seal around here, I have a ton of butyl tape left over. I don't wanna use silicone because you'll have to replace that in the future. But, yeah. Anyway, I don't wanna mess with it, it's kinda messy. So I'm gonna use this and uh, we'll press the sink in and then we'll clean up around the edge and that'll keep, uh, keep water out from uh, under the cabinet. If it's good enough for the top of the van, it's good enough for the sink. All right, so let me get this on and then we'll drop that sink in and get things tightened down. Yes, should correct myself. This is not butyl tape. This is a putty tape. <laughs> Never know what I got in the drawers in the house. All right, so I've got that setting down there. I think it's pretty good. Go ahead and drop that sink in, get my measurements from the front and uh, tighten it down. Two and a half inches from the front is where I want to be, right on the money there, and almost there. Two and a half, two and a half. So right there is where we want to be. So we'll smash that down a little bit. Well, now I just got to get underneath and tighten that up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then uh, clean this up. We'll take a look at it when it's all said and done. Might, uh, <laughs> I don't know if that'll work or not, but it's going to work for me. Well, that didn't work as I hoped. So plan B. <laughs> I'm going to take a tape mark around here with my tape. Pull the sink out, and then we're going to put some uh, sealant around there, some silicone or something. Uh, the butyl tape didn't work as well as I thought it would. Not only that, you see that big old white ridge there, so we don't like that. So we are going to start over. So let me take everything apart and uh, pull the sink out and uh, use some silicone. <laughs> I should have done that in the first place. Lesson learned. All right, let's try this again. This time we're going to do it the right way. So I've got me some black silicone. And uh, we are going to attempt Yeah. I'm gonna have to make a store run. This stuff sat in my garage for so long, it's solid as a rock. Dang it. All right, let's try this again, the right way. So I went to the store and I got some uh, sealant to put around here. It's a flexible and non-crackable and, well, let's just hope it's workable. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and Goop some of that on here. Nice.
All right, so let's see if we can't get this in here without making too big of a mess, which I don't think that's gonna happen. That's why I didn't want to work with this stuff in the first place. Oh man, got it everywhere, all over me. Nice. Missed my mark by a mile here. Dang, look at this. Got it all over the place here. All right. Well, at least I got the crap on. <clears throat> all right, I think I got it. All right, so I'm going to clean this up and uh, we'll take a look at it. What a mess. Yeah, don't try this at home, kids. Okay, let's keep moving. All right, what I think I'm going to do is let that set up for a couple hours before I uh, tighten things down because because that's on there, it's kind of slick, so it wants to move around. So here's what it looks like. <clears throat> and then I'll go around and clean up my mess when it's all said and done. So it's nice and sealed. But... Yeah, I hate working with that stuff. Okay, once this sets up, then we'll get underneath, tighten down the screws, and then we can call the sink almost finished. We still have the drain to put in, but other than that, the sink will be in place, and that uh, was one of my goals. So, hang tight. All right, happy to report the sink is now installed. So I do have uh, the sealant underneath, and I do have a little bit of cleanup left around here. Once, once this is fully set, then I'll just come by and scrape that off. And a couple of tanks sitting here. I probably only use one of them for the wastewater. Uh, I thought I would use one for fresh and one for waste, but well, then I'd have wasted space. So I'll probably just use one tank. And I still have the 28 gallon tank here in the back that I'll use might save that one for a shower setup I think that's probably what I'll do pretty good idea there Batman <coughs> all right and then one other little install I found this I've had this thing for 
Wow, I don't know how long. A couple, two, three years. Anyway, I think, although it's not black, I don't care. I think I'm going to put it right here. And uh, that way I have a little soap dispenser. And uh, that'll work. Don't want to put it on this side because it'll interfere with the handle here and it'll be too close to this edge. So we don't want to get involved with that. So I think right here is going to work fine. If I center that, that puts that nozzle right over the edge. So nothing's going to drain out. If I put it in center line here, then it'll be right on this edge. So if it drips, it'll make a mess. So we're going to go right here in the center. Right there and then we can install that and that will be done the stove is fastened in place and can be removed when we get ready to hook up the gas what else did we do what else did we do well I rearranged a bunch of stuff that was in boxes under the bed so hmm. I've got something else to show you I think is pretty cool and I think you're going to like it. Let's check it out.